thick and fast, it really does. Here comes Andy Woods from the Monk on Dan Gym in South End. As you can hear. Well, I'm Danny Kendrick. I'm joined in the commentary box here live by Alex Foreman. I'm excited about this fight, Danny, purely on the basis that Duncan McDermott is back in the ring on Raw Combat. I've not seen Andy Woods fight, but if he stands up to Duncan anyway in the fashion that Afan Khan did on Raw Combat Round 2, we're in for the treat. Well, let me tell you something. Duncan McDermott was unlucky not to take a win on the last fight. It was the right result, but what a war. What a fight it was. Well, here he comes, the man we're talking about. And let me tell you, Andy Woods must know that he has to go to war now because this guy can go to a dark place and he can carry on, can't he, Alex? He certainly can. He's been in the, he's been in the trenches, Danny. Yep. He's dug deep, he's come back, he's fought well. He's looked like he was going to win fights, he looked like he was going to lose them. And, you know, nothing but credit to this guy. I'm thinking he stepped up a weight class. I'm sure yeah. he fought Afan at 59 at he did, yeah, he did. He's fighting Andy Woods here at lightweight, 62 yeah, kilos. Yeah, you're right there, Alex. Uh, and I've seen Andy Woods fight as well. He's a very good fighter, actually, but he's a similar style to Duncan. Sometimes... He looks so much bigger than Afan. Yeah, he does. He is bigger, Alex. He's yeah, bigger. he's massive. Yeah, yeah he's big. And he's going to look big to Duncan here as well. But let me tell you something. Duncan is a very good fighter and covers the ground well. It's a bit of a hard fight for him now, you can see that already. Yeah, I mean, at B-class level, I'm assuming Andy's probably had maybe six, seven fights now. Um, what have you seen of him? What's he going to bring for Duncan? Alex is a good fighter. He's, he's a little bit erratic sometimes, from what, from what I can remember. But he, he's good. He'll be there till the last drop, frame shots. I mean, Chris Rawlings doesn't doesn't bring people unprepared. They're a good gym down there in South Bend. Chris Rawlings has looked after Jay Woodham and many others like that. A lot of my friends have trained with him. Good atmosphere down at that club. It really is. Yeah, no, he's a nice guy. Uh, I've met him a few times. The guy who runs Monk Horn Dam. Yep. He'll put the belief in his fighter, Alex. No more, no, no more sold than this boy right in front of us now, on the cameras. Big Chris Knowles in the corner with Elsa Nagora. Let me tell you now, Chris for me is one of the best coaches, got one of the best stables in the country. Um, along with many others, there's many good gyms we've seen Anthony Ferguson earlier on. But this is stable, all the way from Linden right down to the likes of Duncan and some of the young guys. Lucky Mendola has just been ranked number one after his win against um, Ashudan. Massive win, massive win. Fantastic gym there. Huge the scale Academy. for the Nosey Academy. Yeah, yeah, they're on the map now. They're really on the map, aren't they, Alex? Yeah. much of a height difference I'm interested to see when they both strip down I know Duncan will look solid at 62 where there is um, where did the man, jump from featherweight to lightweight will be too much for him we'll see I know he's fought at lightweight a couple of times before. well all will be revealed over the next he looks strong Danny he looks big five two minute rounds of B class tight boxing action knees to the head are permitted no elbows of course Sharp low kicks exchanged early in this. Oh, hard, hard low kick. I want to break down the transportation early in the fight. That's that's the ploy, isn't it, Alex? It is. If they can, uh, if they can demobilise the legs, and then generally they're going to sit in front of them. And then they're going to be sitting ducks. 
fast right low kick from Duncan McDermott there. Nice return from Mr. Woods. Yep, again. that was a mistake that by Woods. He switched the south ball well out of range through the left kick and Duncan made the play. Yep. He's just done it again. He's doing it out of range. He needs to box first if he's going to do that. Look, Duncan looks just a little bit more composed. He's picking his shots well. He's getting his distance in right in comparison to Woods at the moment, isn't he? Yeah. Woods is out of range. He's massively out of range, massively. Here again, made to pay by being out of range. Oh, big knee to the back from Duncan McDermott there. Big, big score, massive score. Again, look, he's not sure about the range here. He manages to find the, to get in and kick. It's the first time he's landed that left kick. You know yeah. what I like most about that left kick? Duncan's straight hiding after in the, the corner there, which is never good. No, I've never seen him do it. Straight after that left kick, he managed to hold his leg up and check the counter right kick without dropping it. Lovely technique. Oh, he's pushed back into the corner there. This is better from Woods. Much better. That's it. And there he goes out the corner. That's where he needs to be. He needs to do that earlier for me, Alex. He stayed in there inside. too long, didn't yep. he? Oh, big right hand. But he ducks and he turns off the ropes very, very fluently, Woods. But McDermott pays him. Pays him hard as well on the rear of the leg. And takes one for himself. Electric stuff as we open up this fight, Alex. Last words of advice from Chris Rawlings there for, for Andy Words. Chris is very experienced in the game from the Moncon Dam. He knows he's taken the fighters to this position before. He's seen Jason Woodham, his boy, taken to a dark place on many occasions. Big hands from McDermott. Very, very powerful punch in here. Massive again. It's going to knock him out eventually like that, Alex. That's a massive left up. But you know what? He's smiling, Andy Woods. He's smiling. He's, He's tough. Done really well, didn't he? He's erratic, though, isn't he? Yeah. He, he doesn't seem very relaxed. Oh, he wrapped his leg around that low kick there as well, though. Really looks strong, doesn't he, Andy Woods? Looks like one of those guys you've got to drive a bus into him to put him down. Yeah. Live on MA Action here, I'm Danny Kendrick, joined by Alex Foreman. This is the Raw Combat League. Atmosphere's electric in here, it really is. And I'll tell you what, we're expecting a lot of McDermott here. The pressure he must have been under after his last display on the last show where he stole the headlines. He's really taking it to Andy. His Andy's been heavy. doing well. He's heavy-handed, Alex. It's another right straight got through. He's under oh, pressure. Oh, very heavy-handed here, McDermott. Jesse Saunders having a good look at that there as he drove the left straight into his face. He's still smiling, Andy, though. Yeah, he's still some, there. That tells me he's hurt, Alex. Right hand, left up. Right hand to the body. Coming up, back up top with the left up to the head. A lovely combination by Duncan. He's game, this lad. This lad from the Monk on Dam is game. He's walking into some furious punches from Duncan McDermott. Wow, his boxing skills have been immense, haven't they, Alex? Unbelievable. You know, not, not quite on the same level, shall I, might I add. Not quite on the same level. But Andy doesn't have to remind me of watching uh, Andrew Lofthouse up north. Yeah. He's uh, so erratic. Yeah, um, that's right. So flamboyant to watch. His yeah. hands are... He dro took sometimes drops his lead hand, tucks it in. And I've it's, known uh, Andrew since I was a kid. And he was... Well, since he was a kid, rather. Andrew. And he was never any different. Andrew Lofthouse. Lofthouse. And he was never any different. Even as a boy, he always used to train a Maybaran Star as a small kid. We went to the World Games together out in Ayutthaya, Thailand. Yeah. And we both went home with our belts under our, under our arms. And he's always been that way. And you're right, he does remind me of that style. His arms are down, he's erratic. Yeah. He throws the kick And even if he gets down. hurt, he doesn't really no, care. No, he don't care. He's strong. Yeah. He'll get hit and hit back. He looks a bit like him as well. I think he's better looking than Andrew Lofthouse. I, I think most people are. Yeah. Sorry, Andrew. Sorry. Yeah, if you're listening, Andrew, sorry about that, mate. But I'll tell you what, instruction now from the Monk Monk Dam corner. Instruction now from the Nosey Academy corner. But McDermott's clearly ahead in this fight now, Alex. 
and it's now Andy Woods' fight to chase, and he needs to press the action. But With we know, fighters like Andy, you just never know. No. You just never know. No, look, look, look at the skills there as well. Erratic, hard to read. McDermott's easy to read. I'm going to come and smash your face off. That's basically what he is, isn't he? Yeah. Just like he was Doesn't against Jack Van Kant in the last fight we saw. I think he's come out more with a point to prove in this one. He, he, I think so as well. Oh, massive right hand again. And there will be a standing eight count. He's disappointed, but he did not look well after the first he's shot. He's smiling while he's getting the eight yeah, count. Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's really enjoyable to watch. He, he, he shook his head for a fight. second. He didn't want the shot, but I'll tell you, your body language wasn't good. Oh, again a right hander. There he's gone down. I think you're definitely getting counted this time, sir. Another standing eight count. McDermott shows out to the crowd from the neutral corner. McDermott has got to go straight at him. He'll finish him here, Alex. He's an aggressive young lad. He'll finish him here. There he is. That's the end of the fight. Duncan McDermott, your just reward from the last time he saw you here. He's laid it down. Unlucky Andy Woods. You showed heart. But my God, this kid's good, Alex. He's strong. Maybe lightweight's the division he should be in. Oh. Maybe, because he looks strong punching He looks, there, he looks he? like he was hitting hard Is he tonight. tall enough? Is he tall enough, Alex? Was Mike Tyson tall enough for the heavyweight? Mike Zambidis. Say, punching his head off from low down. Yeah. Well. His boxing was phenomenal. Brilliant. You know, you know what, I'm, I mean, obviously I'm not biased in any way, but I'm really happy for Duncan because he deserved a good result after the last fight. Please.